And now, CBS 2 Sports with Matt Lay. Five years ago, if someone mentioned the possibility of Fred Hoiberg coaching college basketball on the west side of the Missouri River, they'd probably receive a lifetime ban from Hilton Coliseum. They're soft. They hate each other. They're just not the team that we thought they were. Floyd of Rosedale has been spending his summers in Iowa City for 13 of the last 17 seasons. You can find Bush Guy all over social media. And Zach, I gotta say, they're doing a pretty good job. We are here with coaches Friday. We're gonna talk a little college hoops. We wanna be a championship caliber football team. We're not changing the game plan. Let's remember last year in the playoffs, Cedar Falls ultimately ended Cedar Rapids Prairie's season. That was a smooth shot. Really? Reminds me of myself back in the day. Really? That lefty stroke. The people Every time I got off the bench in the last two minutes of the game, <laughs> I was just. I think we're going to go look smooth. for that on YouTube now. Clear Creek of Mana sailed back into the playoffs after an eight win season. Filling their Friday nights with applause. Having them come out and support us um, and just showing like how much they care to be around and to watch us um, watch us perform and be successful. The support didn't go unnoticed. With the playoffs looming, head coach Gabe Baker had a new game plan for his team. Well, he actually sent us a text and it was like, hey, everybody bring pens to practice. And everyone's like, why are we bringing pens to practice? And Not to take notes during an extra film session or to jot down a new trick play. They were to write a compliment. Teachers give those out about once or twice every quarter to students. Okay. And I wanted to flip the script at them and know that there's guys in our football team that really appreciate what they do. Over 52 thank yous were written by the team, quietly returning the praise they'd received all year to the educators they see almost every day. None of us ever thought about like, oh, like all those teachers are always supporting us every day at school and like most of them come to the game. And it means a lot. You know, they mention a couple of things and you don't think you're doing much, but they recognize that, so it's very meaningful. In a season filled with memorable moments, the biggest play the Clippers made may have happened away from the football field. We gotta teach them how to be better men when they're done playing football, uh, be good husbands, fathers, uh, sons. There's a lot of people that help support us and we gotta give back to everybody involved. And the loudest cheer was as quiet as the stroke of a pen. In Tiffin, Matt Lang, CBS2 Sports. Five Hawkeyes played their way into the MLB draft last season, but the winning spirit they had still remains in Iowa City. Over the last three years, I met some great guys, been on some great teams, championship teams, um, but this team right here is probably the most special I've been on just from a chemistry standpoint. In fact, Rick Heller's cupboard of talent is far from barren. I don't know that there's a guy that's going to hit 15 or 20 home runs in that group, but I think we have a much uh, more consistent lineup than even what we had last season. Three Hawkeyes sit on the draft boards for 2019, two coaches accepted positions with the Yankees, and one guy already on the minds of the MLB for 2020. That sends a pretty clear message. Everyone who come here is either getting drafted or going, even the coaches are going to like bigger careers in their life. This program is getting stronger and better each year. It gives me just a lot of motivation to want to achieve and get to the next level, knowing that it is possible and it's not a, too far off. Suddenly, the path to the next level is clear for the Hawkeyes, which is good for everyone. It's great for our players and great for the program, but um, as a coach, it's not so great to lose them all the time. Even the guy filling out the lineup card. In Iowa City, Matt Lang, CBS2 Sports. There were two players that had been finding themselves on mock draft boards all year long for Iowa State. One was this man. Taylor Horton Tucker. He announced via social media this afternoon that he will be entering his name in the NBA draft. Horton Tucker is eligible to return if he doesn't get drafted, as long as no financial compensation is exchanged between himself and an agent. Wildcats had the Hawkeyes against the ropes at Carver tonight, coming off of a three-game skid Northwestern led by 12 with under three to play. But Jordan Bohannon got hot. A tough three cuts it to nine. The Wildcats were starting to sweat. Under 90 to play now. Hawks down eight. j -Bo again. The lead is just five. Hawks ball, three seconds left. The lead for the Wildcats is two. Bohannon gets it and takes it for the win. Got it. Comeback complete and total pandemonium in Iowa City. Something interesting came to our attention on Tuesday when the weekly depth chart was released. For the Hawkeye game against Nebraska, a new running back is listed as the RB1. After rushing for 121 yards and two touchdowns in Champaign, Makai Sargent is listed as the top back. Now, we know this might not mean much in terms of usage, but it's a sign of great growth for a guy who just showed up on campus a few months ago. 
We know number 25 Oklahoma State is going to put up a ton of points, but apparently the true freshman Brock Purdy, remember the name by the way, can put up points too. First quarter, a good way to ease the nerves is remembering you can throw to this guy. Hakeem Butler with a stellar catch to give the Cyclones the lead. And the kid apparently has the clutch gene too. Third and nine, time winding down in the half. Blitz in his face, no problem. Matt Eaton hauls it in and the Cyclones go up nine before the break. And how about this? Late fourth quarter, Cyclones up just five, but the comeback is thwarted. A 60 yard strike to Tariq Milton seals the deal and the Iowa State Cyclones win their third consecutive road game against a ranked opponent.